This is 2023 uh, Honda CRV Hybrid, and today we're going to be changing oil on this um, vehicle. Now my car has 6,000 miles on it, a little bit over 6,000 miles. It's time to change the oil. Now, according to the manual, it's a little bit too early, but it never hurts to change your oil uh, earlier. For this project, I picked actual original uh, Honda oil. I went to my local dealership. I picked up five of these bottles. Super overpriced, obviously, since it's a, a Honda oil. But if you decided to go with something else, for example, Mobile One, or Castrol, Penzoil, just make sure it's a 0W20 full synthetic. This engine, 2.0 liter, takes 4.2 uh, um, uh, quarts, and 5 quarts will obviously cover this. I also picked up original filter, so let's go ahead and start working on it and change your oil. By the way, the car is already on the ramp, so only what we need to do, just lift the hood, crack the open oil cap, and start draining from the bottom. Under the vehicle of your hybrid model, you're going to locate this aluminum shield that needs to be completely removed just for you to access the oil. This shield holds by eight um, little screws all the way around. So let's go take them off and remove this aluminum kind of flimsy shield. Now, I'm not sure why, but these screws are so, so over tight. This is absolutely ridiculous. Either it's on my car or it's on everywhere, but they're definitely were over tied with some kind of impact. I even have an issue with untying them with my impact. So I gotta go and grab a bigger impact and to take these screws. This is absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully you're not going to have this issue. Now this is my Milwaukee Stubby that I have with a 4 amp battery, hopefully um, I'll be able to take this all. Here we go. This is absolutely ridiculous. Somebody put like probably 150 pounds on this little screw. Now we have two more to take care of and a couple of these tabs. Okay, now your oil filter exposed and it's now super easy to get to it and your drain plug still there. So let's go ahead and start draining all this. This has a 17 millimeter socket and we're just going to um, Crank this bolt open and then I'm gonna slide the pan. And the only reason why I'm doing it, I don't have enough space between the pan uh, and the engine. And I just put it on the box because my pan was kind of low to the ground and I do not want oil splash um, anywhere. So we crank that. We're gonna slide back the pan and just unscrew this right quick. While oil draining, you can save your some time and go ahead and crank your filter open and let that oil drain. Just make sure you have oil pan on top of your filter right here.
it's nice to have these angled oil filter pliers in your toolbox highly recommend thanks so i pay like 10 bucks for them they save me a lot of hassle There is a big debate on filling up your oil filter before installing or not. Well, my rule of thumb is this. If your oil filter sits like this, I go ahead and add oil and fill it up with the oil and add it to a total amount, the total capacity of oil I'm putting in this engine. Now, if um, your uh, filter sits like this, then there's really nothing you can do. Now, in this particular Honda CRV hybrid with a two liter engine, your oil actually sits down, but slightly on the angle. So I'm going to go ahead and put some oil in there. It will not hurt even if it don't really need it. And obviously don't forget to lubricate your o-ring right here on your filter this is like super important don't miss this step and how much do you need to put oil in there just fill it up so it will not um, leak out while you installing the filter now if you're still curious to find out how much um, oil um, I put in this filter um, it was only 200 milliliters actually a little bit over 200 milliliters and that's it you just kind of want to top it off so it will not leak while you installing it like I said do you really need it or not I I don't know it will not hurt at all it's all depends on the engine model engine design and I do not know how this engine design is so I'm just gonna go ahead um, and put oil in the um, filter will not hurt um, now uh, do not over tie this filter just kind of hand tie this I do not have tightening specification but for that you need torque obviously in the cap um, just kind of hand tie it it will not leak here we go now the oil is now uh, drained It's just now dripping I'm not gonna be sitting here for three hours waiting until the loss drop uh, do not uh, do this um, do you change uh, your washer on your drain plug or not it's literally up to you I probably uh, will recommend to just go ahead and do it um, if you have access to the washer for two dollars that's how much <laughs> they sell me this washer at the dealership but if you do not have access and you totally forgot about it this is absolutely fine just install it back you'll be just fine until next oil change or even the another oil change after that I usually do not change these washers until I see actually there is some oil around the plug so I'll go ahead and grab one of these washers while I was there at the dealership now to torque or not to torque this is the question if you have access to a torque wrench obviously go ahead and torque it this is important and it's only important for you not to over tie your bolt not to break the thread here on uh, this oil pan if you do not have a torque wrench just simply tie it with your hands just do not go crazy but I do have a torque wrench obviously and you gotta torque this bolt from 22 to 26 pounds I set my torque wrench to 23 and we're just going to torque this Here we go. Now we fully torqued to 23 uh, pounds. Now let's go ahead and install our the backsplash, the splash guard right here, and fill it up with some oil.
this is was four quarts of oil including that bottle where i stole 200 uh, milliliter of the oil for that filter now we just need to add 0.2 quart and we're done We're now in the vehicle and only what's left to do is just to reset your um, oil status. So to do this, you just simply go to your uh, vehicle settings right here on your uh, screen. Go to your um, maintenance info right here and then you click select a reset item. It'll give you the option what do you want to reset so do not reset everything it's nice to have something like this in this generation of the vehicles you just click on engine oil and as you see my actual engine oil right now at only 15 uh, percent as i said my car have a little bit over than 6,000 miles so we're gonna go ahead and reset oil to 100 since we just did oil change so let's go ahead and click reset and this is it and now your oil is reset and now you have 100 percent capacity of that oil don't even know how they count this mark guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching